Ian was present at all the previous births. Well, the other question is, so how many are you going to have? <laughs> and uh, I think this one was quite a shock to him, actually. And, uh, Bobo. But, um, Bobo. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be Bobo. doing anything about preventing Bobo. anymore, so... Bobo. We'll just have to see how it goes. Bobo. Bobo. He's very rational. I mean, he doesn't always know what to do, but then who does, you know? And, you know, he, he knows he should be, I don't know, supportive, so he tries putting his arm around my shoulders, which is, of course, the last thing I want, and I scream at him, but he takes it all with good grace and just stands around being calm and being told what to do. And so that's very good. And I think um, just, just him being so calm, not being worried, not getting anxious, is... Um, is a big help in itself. The fact that he's not panicking makes me not panic. Yeah. Okay, it's now three days after my official due date and we're at home watching The Simpsons and I think that labour could be starting now as I'm getting quite strong contractions in my back. Um, having one now, so it's obviously still early days as I can talk through it. Just um, but fingers crossed, this is it. It's 11 o'clock on Sunday evening. A midwife from the hospital has been out to visit, but as Deborah was still in the early stages of labour, she's returned to the hospital. Labour's picked up and Ian makes a call to the hospital again. Yes, hi, um, my name's Ian Flynn. I'm partner of Deborah, who's in, in labour just at present. That's it, and Suki's already been out to see us once. Well, uh, Deborah's um, now more um, um, insistent that um, um, we, we, we've progressed. I think the contractions are now down to three minutes. Yeah, and they seem to be more painful as well. And uh, if, if uh, the last birth is anything to go by, then, then um, uh, we, we did have quite a sudden acceleration uh, around about this point. I uh, know I absolutely am not going to bring bring her into the hospital. That's that she's she, she's she's firstly she's adamant that she won't. Secondly, I think it's dangerous to move her. Thirdly, I've had two or three uh, cans of Stella, so I'm not prepared to drive. Um, I don't suppose that uh, taking a, a leaping woman on the night bus is a good idea. So 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 it's really not going to. to... Thank you very much. Bye. Yeah, well, that was fairly predictable, I suppose. <laughs> what happened? Um, she's with another patient uh, at the moment, and um, uh, somebody else is in theatre. Um, so, um, really, we ought to have locked the doors um, um, to prevent her from, uh, from leaving. I knew it was a bad sign when she took the box away. So, um, I'm, not, I'm not surprised, but I'm very annoyed. It's a bit like, a, you know, sort of a dodgy car repair or something like that, isn't it? And then we'll get back to you. Even if the paramedics do deliver the baby, they still want to take you back into hospital afterwards. And so they said you have to put your foot down there as well and refuse yeah. to go with them. I might be filming you delivering the baby. I know. I have thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> I really do not want to go into an MRSA infested, rusty, bloody hospital. Yeah, that's okay, we won't go. We'll call them when I'm pushing, and then they have to send, even if they have to send an ambulance. Okay, do you want to get in this thing? No, not yet. Shall I take the cover off in preparation? No. I want I'm desperate to get the value for money here. <laughs> The hospital are trying to encourage Deborah to come into the maternity unit to have her baby as they're short staffed, but Deborah doesn't want to go in. That's fantastic, thanks very much. Okay, bye. They finally agree to send out a midwife. What's the score? That was about two and a half minutes. Two and a half, hey, that's good. How far do the contractions contract out? 
until they're constant when you're going through transition, yeah. That sounds like the worst bit. That is the worst bit. <laughs> Okay, Closely this. followed by the crowning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how I've got this? Because you never pay attention. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, just be quiet for a bit, okay? Is the bulb proving to be useful? Yeah. Deborah uses the ball to good effect, and she's using a TENS machine to help with the pain of the contractions. Ian prepares the room by putting down more plastic sheeting. By 1am, the midwives have arrived. They've expressed that they do not wish to be filmed. They check Deborah and the baby. All's well. Ian puts together some clothes for the new baby in preparation. Do you want to get your aspirin? Finally get a bit of pool action. And finally, he gets to uncover the pool. The spirit thermometer is also indicating precisely 37. So the engineering is done. 